Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Roger Hatton. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you guys can tell by this title, we're going to be showing you guys the best cipher setups on Bind. If you guys want to go check out the previous videos that I've done already on Haven and Icebox, link is down below or there'll be an eye up here. You guys can go check them out after this video. If you guys are new around here, click that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video if you do enjoy because there's around 70% of you guys that have not already subscribed. By all means, do so. It'll be greatly appreciated. Yeah, let's jump straight into the video. We're going to start with B because b is in my opinion more effective than a we're gonna start off with the basic traps and so on and so forth so obviously one here another one obviously you could put one over here because of the fact that it's it just covers off their pushing from b short or b window not really effective because obviously you want to try getting the kill yes it's info it's good info but you can't really get any kills from it one trap you could put here playing back here around this around this area if it goes off you could wall bang this area here the traps i use for when i play obviously a cypher i use this I use this to cover out window because yes cool people could jump out from here but some people tend to ta get tangled in this wire which is amazing because they don't know where their flipping wire is and they'll keep running out and they'll get stunned so anyway that's an effective trap and obviously i put a cage here this covers the entire hookah Another trap obviously would be here. If you're playing in if you're playing over here in elbow, this angle over here is so effective. Because if this first trap goes off and the guy jumps out and hits this, you could get easy the easiest two frags of your life. One, two, done. Once one up obviously once you pop up those cages. Another trap would be obviously default plant. And obviously you could put another trap here. You could also put a trap here. Another trap would be over here. If you think that people are pushing you, uh, pushing to CT, you could put one here. Obviously you could put a trap up here, but this is not really as effective as this one. So yeah. As for the cam spots, what I tend to do in the first round is I head up here and jump up here in the corner. And there you go. You see B long from this angle. As you can see, you get in for early. Once again, they could see the camera. And they can shoot it down. Another camera that I like to use is an angle. Is a camera here. If say for example you wanted to get info right for your team, this is very effective because this you could hear the steps from long. And you could hear the steps from short from B. So you could call out saying two B long, one B long, whatever. You could give that information so clear. Obviously you could put one up here. This covers the whole site. And finally, a camera here. Obviously this covers this covers the default plants. So that's B site covered. Moving on to A side now. So A side has a lot of traps. So we're going to start with the basic ones. One here. Covers our short. Pushes. And then we just... Simple. Two. You know what I mean? Obviously you can put cam there. Simple. Be on the lookout for nades, shock darts and so on and so forth. Now this is where it gets interesting. You can put a trap. You can put a couple traps on here actually. Yep. Be on the lookout for the grenades and the shock darts and the things that would could and would destroy, obviously, the traps. But yeah, there's another one. These I'm just literally showing you all the traps that are or can be very used in, that can be used effectively. Obviously, there's one trap here. Covers default. This also covers default. I don't know about this one, but yeah. This this also can this this also can cover default depends where they're planting of course and if you're playing obviously over here in the showers area this is very good because obviously if you cage down there and you're in this corner and you see a guy or push shoot them then you could go for more of a plant and get get an angle and so on and so forth if you think if you know they're pushing you can push there you can put one here same with this one if you think that they're gonna be you can put a trap here there's quite a lot of traps to cover by the way <laughs> just say it. But these are just it. These are just some of the traps for obviously A. Uh, camera spots, you can put one up here. Put one back up in the back in the corner over here. This covers literally the whole short and bath. You can even put one up in this corner over here. This only covers. There's quite a lot more traps on A. Yep, I know what you're thinking. Who would use these? But trust me, I know a lot of people that would use or have used these sort of traps. So. You guys could pause any time of the video and see where I put the angles and so on and so forth. You guys could test these out in your own setups and defense guides and just figure out what you like the most. If you guys have enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Been your Borgia, keep smiling, be yourself, stay awesome. Have a wonderful day. Catch you guys in my next video. Adios.